how I learned advanced runs without a teacher. So if you haven't already seen my before and afters, go to my website right now, rnbsinginglessons.com and there are a few down on the menu, there should be something about my singing transformation. Click on that and watch one or two of those videos and you'll hear the difference with my runs in the past and how my runs are now and just my overall voice. Now, why am I talking about runs specifically? Because a lot of people really like my runs and I've kind of become even known for my runs in my some of my karaoke circles, my singer friends, my non-singer friends that like singing or like listening. And um, I've gotten complimented a lot on my runs and it's really flattering and I really, I really love it and can't believe it sometimes because when I hear myself, I'm still thinking about how much more I have to keep learning and to keep getting better because my goals are so high. But then I look at then I look at the situation. And, yeah, I have made I have made a lot of progress with my runs. When I see my before and afters, I'm like, wow, it is really different. So watch that first if you haven't seen it. Now I wanted to share. It made me think about it because I was getting some compliments recently when I did a uh, live video. Uh, something else someone else complimented me as well recently in person and I thought wow like people are noticing me for my runs they'll watch me sing a song they'll and they'll specifically comment on my runs and I'll be like oh wow you know and I thought my runs still needed a lot of work so here's what I did right obviously I was truly a beginner I'm not like these before and afters that are online where people weren't actually beginners I was truly a beginner what did I do? So, I used to use Amazing Slowdown, which is an app that you can find now. But I used to use it before it was an app. Okay? It was like um, you could only buy it on computers because it was before smartphones. Smartphones hadn't come out yet. So, this was like 10 years ago or something. Alright, that's it there, the one on the top. You can get the free version under it. That's it, right? So, what happened? Sorry, it's not coming in focus. What ended up happening was I would put songs that I loved into Amazing Slowdown. I started with Craig David. Craig David, I really used to like. So, Craig David had some runs, like, um, I'll bring it up right now. Uh, Craig David. I haven't got it here. Just find it. So, let's say. Craig David walking away. So let's say that for example. I would hear it, I would sing it back and I'd be like, I'm not singing it quite like Craig David, so what, what should I do? And this was back on when I had it on the computer. Slow it right down, right? So, so that's 50%. I still wouldn't be able to get it, right? So then I'd slow it down as far as it goes, which is to 25. Sometimes, sometimes, and then what I would do is try to figure out what the notes were so back when I first heard it it might it might have taken me like 20 minutes if not more just to figure out that he's going just to figure out that he's doing to figure out that he's doing those five notes just to figure it out not to even do it fast just to figure it out took me Maybe I didn't even figure out in one session. It took me many sessions of listening to lots of different songs that had similar runs of Craig David and sometimes other artists. And then I started to hear, hear it more clearly, gradually. So I didn't have someone to show me, okay, he's doing this. These are the notes, one, two, three, four, five. I didn't have someone to show me that, right? I had to figure it out by myself. Um, so I kept listening. Now I didn't do this every day, I, I, 
it was new. I was like learning, discovering things about singing. I was learning guitar at the same time. So I didn't have this concept of practice every day because I didn't even know what to practice. You know what I mean? But I did know how to practice songs as a whole, but I didn't know how to break songs down into this kind of detail, which is what I needed to get better. So I kept doing it, but like maybe months apart, I would come back to it. You know what I mean? And then maybe I would get excited about, maybe I would try to do a cover and then some parts would come out really crap. So then I would put, that would inspire me to kind of go to back to Amazing Slowdown and see if I can figure out what was happening. And then I kept doing that over many months, over many years, and gradually I started to notice notes and figure out what the notes were, one note at a time, super slow. And then what, what happened was, um, I realized, then I would try to go to harder things like Wanye, who has really long runs. And I realized it was way overwhelming to learn long runs. So, especially with like, I didn't have anyone to guide me, so it felt really overwhelming. I didn't know how to break it down. Uh, when I did start to break it down, sometimes I would break part of it down, but then I'd feel like, oh, I'm never gonna get this, and I'd kind of leave it. And then I kind of wanted to quit, and then I would, then I was like, no, I want, then again, when I get inspired to practice, I'd be like, no, I'm gonna try to make a plan. So I would, I stuck two runs that were short. And then I would learn shorter runs, like this five note run. And I tried to, I made a list of how many short runs I could find. And I started to try to learn them. I started learning them. And then I was like, okay, now I know the notes, but now I need to go faster. So then I developed a system to go faster, which was pretty simple. I just started that at 25%. I would do it a couple of times and then I'll gradually move up to like 30%, 35%, 40%, 45%. Go as fast as I can. And then when I couldn't do it anymore, I would sort of like practice again the same way next time. So over time, I found the key was to spend more time in the slow zone, slow to medium zone of where, what you can handle, what you can do, because if you go too fast for too much of the training, you don't make progress because you're just training in that zone where you don't sound that accurate and that good, so you don't get better. So what I ended up doing was spending more time in the 25 to 50% zone, 25 to 66% zone, and uh, sometimes even just in the 25 to 35 zone, 25 to 40. And then I practiced there a lot and then that helped me a lot. And I got to the point where I could do things at 40, 50%, 60% and I got, it, I got encouraged. I got confidence from doing that. And now I can do a lot of runs at 100% and uh, continually building my speed using the same kind of method with variations of the same kind of method. So this is where I started to discover, discover slow practice and discover progressions. So I would start with easier stuff and then build to harder stuff. Now, if you have a teacher, you don't need to start with easier stuff and build to harder stuff because a teacher can make me, I don't know how teachers teach, but someone like me can take something hard and break it up for you into easier bits. So you don't actually need to come to me and say, I want to learn this like run but I'm, I'm scared it's too hard, I want to learn something easier. No, you can learn the hard run, you just have to understand that it's going to take a long time to learn compared to if you're going to learn a long run. So if you're going to learn a five note run, you, you'll probably learn it within five, 10, 15 minutes. But if you want to learn a long run that's 20 notes, you can learn it, but you're going to learn the five notes in 15 minutes. And then the next five notes, the next 15, the next five notes, you get it? So it's going to take you a couple of hours to learn that 20 note run and only maybe a half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever, to learn that 5 note run if you're at that basic level. So you don't actually need to go to something easy. You just need someone like me to make it easier for you and in sections, bit by bit sections, with the understanding that it's going to take many sessions to learn, not just one session. Okay? So the way I, the way I continued was I didn't do it that way because I didn't know that I could do it that way and I didn't have enough skill to break things down enough by myself to do it that way. Now I do, but back then I didn't. So the way I built my skill, because this is my story here, I built my skill by starting 
like without a teacher by starting with these five note runs three five like yeah 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 building that up building a bit of speed with that getting up to 50 percent and i started graduating to longer harder runs like this one like this part for example. Seven notes, right? Then I started graduating to harder runs that are like two runs combined. That's part one. It's actually two runs combined into one. Lie, lie, I don't want to live a lie. So, and I kept going. Then I found runs that were like 10 notes or, you know, 9 notes. And then I started making kind of a list of all these runs and putting them all in Amazing Slowdown. I'm making like playlists because you can do that. And then, uh, like, as smartphones came out, I got better. Before, smart, before smartphones, I just used to make lists like on notepads of songs with hard runs and with the times of the song, that kind of stuff. Or I'll just make the MP3 of the, the run. So it was really gradual and I built up, built up. And then what that did, so say you learn 10 three note runs or 10 five note runs, that builds your confidence and ability. And then you start to be able to find it easier to do longer runs your memory works better and you're ready for more of a challenge and then you start to do 10 note runs and then i started doing 15 and then i got to 20 and then i started doing 25 and then i did 35 blah 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 okay so i kept going and going but really gradually because i had no one to show me to break things down for me i couldn't go straight to the 20 note runs even though i really wanted to learn them um, i started with the the easier ones okay and then when i was getting better at the three five seven ten note runs i started to 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 build the system of how to break down a 20 note run i started to realize that a 20 note run was made up of these little three five four six note runs so then i started to break down a 20 note run into these smaller runs I'd be like, oh this is where he kind of accents here so that's like that's the first grouping and that's the next grouping of four and the next grouping of six next grouping of three i can kind of hear the way he's grouping the runs oh these are the vowels that he's doing he's changing he's like woo sometimes starts in, starting with a woo and he goes with a woe and then he goes with a ah whatever he's doing you know whatever the singer's doing she, he or she gradually I started to learn these longer runs by breaking them down into these sections but I can only do that because I developed the skill of being able to do three five six seven note runs first okay so the way I would teach you 20 note runs would be the same that I learned the same kind of thing I would make you go through the groupings of that 20 note run because a 20 note run is not just a 20 note run it's actually a grouping of maybe four or five three to five note runs okay that's why you can actually learn long runs straight away you just have to understand that you're only gonna learn one section at a time all right it's the same like even when you're learning a three note run you're kind of learning it one section at a time with the section becomes one note instead of an actual three note four note section it just becomes yeah so yeah would be like the beginning yeah and those two yeah so a section to a beginner would be just one note at a time whereas if you're going live a lie it would be two sections lie. Lie. you think about it like that and then if you need to you break it down further lie. with super slow mode and focusing on the notes that are really difficult. Hope that guys, hope that, hope that guys, hope that gives you a bit of insight as to how I progressed without a teacher. I put in many hours of trying to break 
runs down. And, uh, but what I did was, like I said, progressive in how many notes I was learning. That's how I organized it. And then it was still very difficult to figure out notes. It was still very, very hard to do it, but I did it. And uh, I'm really happy that I did it and I went through that difficult process. If there was a teacher like me out there that was, that was willing to learn how I wanted to learn and was gonna teach me what I wanted in class, I would have gone to them, but at that time there wasn't. There was only one R&B teacher that I found, and even that one R&B teacher was making me do scales 50 minutes of the lesson, and I didn't want to do that. They knew how to break down runs. They did. She, she, she did show me. I go, what's a run? Like I asked her in the end of the lesson. She's like, you know, a run is just like. She did a run, and she goes, look, it's just these five notes, just the way I described it to you. But you know, she just showed me, and that was it. And then we went back to scales and breathing exercises and blah blah blah. blah. So, if I had someone, an R&B teacher that could show me one note at a time, like I do for my students, man, I would have taken that up straight away and I would have stuck with them. Because learning by myself was really hard and I had to develop the system and it took such a long time to do it. I went through so many ups and downs in my confidence because I, you know, when you don't know how to approach something, you lose confidence that you'll ever actually be able to do it. So, um, that sucked, you know. So, I really recommend that you get lessons, and if you don't get lessons, or if you even if you are getting lessons, you go to my website, and there's a free runs kind of section where you can practice. I've got like 90 runs videos where I break them down super slow, and you can practice with them. I really recommend you do that. Or, if you want to do a little thank you for me, you can buy my course. For around 44 American and you can go through the runs course there which is um, in stages from beginner to advanced and I give it really slow broken down and I give you mp3s to practice with as well all right guys for shed hike I'm be seeing lessons.com see you guys next time bye